This video is intended to be a quick and dirty demonstration of how to save data that you have pulled using an SQL query in the Oracle SQL Developer application. First, make sure that you have a connection. You'll know that you have a valid connection. You'll see your database. You'll see your tables. You'll see columns. You can see your views, etc. You can input your search. This is a very simple search. I'm going to run it. My output shows up at the bottom of the screen. One thing you may be asked to do, especially early in the class, is simply save this output to your workbook or your assignment. To do this, all you have to do is highlight your data. And I've got about 50 rows here. Hit Control C. Come over to your homework. It's asking you to copy and paste the results of your search into the box below. You just copied it, and all you have to do is paste it. I don't mind a long list like this as long as it's a page, maybe two, or whatever you've been asked to do. We are going to do some big data pulls that could be thousands of rows. We don't want to copy and paste that into our workbook. Instead, I'll ask you to save that output to a file and input that as part of your homework submission. To do that, you just click somewhere in your data. Uh, you don't have to highlight it. Anywhere in the data will be fine. Export. This would actually save a SQL insert statement. You do not want to do that. You want to save a CSV file. The delimiter is already set to comma and it cannot be changed. You've already said I want a comma delimited file. You want to give it a name and a location that you want to save to. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go ahead and click next and I'm going to hit finish. That will have saved a file that I can now submit as my homework output. Let's look at it in the window. Here's my file. If I click on it, it was saved as a CSV. It will probably open up in Notepad, and that's beautiful data. To look at it in Excel, I just click on Data. I click from Text. I click my file. It will open a wizard. I will say it's delimited. The default is tab delimited. I don't want that. I want comma delimited, and you'll see my data looks a little funky right here when I click on comma. I turns it into rows. It looks beautiful. And that's all nice. I click on finish. I tell it I want my data input to start in cell A1. And I have some beautiful data. You notice my columns are each in a column. And it did import my column names. You can then save this file as an Excel file and upload it as part of your homework if that's what you're asked to do. If you have any questions, drop me an email. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.